dear brothers and sisters wishes in the mighty name of jesus jesus is our redeemer there is no salvation in any other for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which it is necessary for us to be saved except the apostles chapter 4 verse 12 Christ died for us therefore having been justified now by his blood all the more so shall we be saved from wrath through him Romans chapter 5 verse 9 The God of all graces who has called us to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself perfect confirm and establish us 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 You are of God and so you have overcome him for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 So be humbled under the powerful hand of God so that he may exalt you in the time of visitation 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 6 You are listening to the voice of the gospel the voice of the gospel August 12th 19th Sunday of honorary time a reading from the holy gospel according to st john chapter 6 verses 41 to 51 Then the Jews began to complain about him because he said I am the bread that came down from heaven They were saying is not this Jesus the son of Joseph whose father and mother we know how can he now say I have come down from heaven Jesus answered them do not complain among yourselves No one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me and I will raise that person up on the last day It is written in the prophets and they shall all be taught by God Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God He has seen the father very truly i tell you whoever believes has eternal life i am the bread of life your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they said this is the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat of it and not die i am the living bread that came down from heaven whoever eats of this bread will live forever and the bread that i will give for the life of the world is my flesh the gospel of the lord my dear friends in jesus christ jesus again draws lessons about life from the feeding of 5000 We must remember that all teachings of Jesus recorded in the gospels is uh, intended to speak to experience and we must therefore appeal to one experience to discover its truth it can be difficult with the passages like these one reason is that uh, the language is not the kind that we use ordinarily some expressions such as eternal life being drawn by the father living bread flesh from heaven we have to bring down to earth for ourselves apply them to what we have lived ourselves yes my dear friends the opening and the ending of today's gospel reading speak of the bread that came down from heaven This could as well be the theme of the gospel. You see, the people expected the Messiah to literally come down from heaven. 
they were waiting for spectacular events and uh, supernatural manifestations in the sky when they would uh, literally see the anointing of god coming down in the clouds so when jesus came forward and claimed that i am he they could not reconcile the reality before them with the expectation in their minds here question is for us do we go by appearance rather than reality it is said that appearance can be deceptive while he is uh, from our neighborhood how can he say that uh, he came from heaven as the controversy deepens they become even more explicit yet we know where this man is from but when the messiah comes no one will know where he is from we can see gospel of john chapter 7 verse 27 at the same time the crowds did see that uh, this man could make their lives on earth more comfortable but they did not see that uh, he worked these signs in order to show them who he truly was the signs were not about them they were about him and identity to this sunday the church proclaims jesus own answer to the question of who he is his answer will unfold further in the next two sunday's gospel passages he gives us three answers i am the bread of life the bread that comes down from heaven so that one may eat it and not die and the living bread in all this jesus tells us that he is the bread that gives life life is what jesus is god in his divine nature bread is what jesus for us in his human nature yes my dear friends it's through jesus human nature that he shows us as his divine love for us and allows us to share in his divine nature in all this jesus has been preparing the crowds for his final words is this in this passage the bread that i will give is my flesh for the life of the world is uh, important to us today because it sustains us spirituality bread that is broken bread that is shared bread that says yes jesus today comes near to each and every one of us and nourish us on all levels and he still comes down from heaven not just at a mass but through the people and experiences of our daily life amen tell out my soul the greatness of the lord unnumbered blessings give my spirit voice and to me Sure.